I'm currently on the computer I'm going to click here and I'm going to go back to the first thing we had seen which is the service manager you can see it over here or server manager so once you open your server manager the first thing to do is to say do not message me again that you want to but I just wanted to click on local server on the local server click on where it says IE which is Internet Explorer Enhanced Security um, you have to turn them off initially it is to be on on recommended but I have to switch them off so after that head over to Google and on Google download Google Chrome yeah uh, Microsoft Explorer is actually the number one browser we use in downloading Google Chrome so I've downloaded the Google Chrome and I'm going to install the Google Chrome so once I install Google Chrome, the next thing I will do right now is to install the OKEG OK bot on this computer and then I can actually start loading traffic um, straight to whatever channel I would want. Okay, while Google Chrome is actually downloading, I would still open up a new tab and head over to OKEGBOTS.com. OKEGBOTS.com OK And I'm going to download the OKEGBOTS OK software. It's saying blocked by um, Microsoft Edge, so this means that the software could not be downloaded on OKBot. Now this is why we actually need Google Chrome. So I'm, I've downloaded and installed the Google Chrome. I'll click Do Not Sign In, um, skip. So on this Google Chrome, I will go to OKBot.com. Then I'll try to download the software now. So unlike the Microsoft Edge that refused to um, download it, this server should be able to download the software. Okay, so now we've been able to download the software, next is to open it. Some computers with antivirus might tell you it's a virus, but trust me there is nothing there, it's just because the code were signed specifically, so most antivirus systems will kick against it. So if it has said done, I'm going to wait again, okay I'll click on full download history, okay, okay it's not fully yet done, it still needs to say completed, and then we can open up the OKBot okay app and install it. Just taking some time. Okay, so I guess right. So this is the antivirus telling us that oh, there is a virus here, blah blah blah, which is not true. So click on manage settings when it tells you that. Manage settings, and on the manage settings, just switch off the um, real time real-time protection, the up one, switch off every one of them over here. I mean basically you're going to be using this computer to drive traffic so that's the only thing it's going to be used for. Now I'm going to go back again and download your OKEG bots. So now you shouldn't actually do this, you shouldn't download OKEG bot first before you turn it off. Um, you can actually just head over there and turn it off but more importantly I allowed it to go like this so it shows that this is what it, it usually show a virus detection after we just ignore use the opportunity to turn it off and then click on the okbot.esc so it can start installing okay so this is the pop-up I'll click on more info and I'll click on run anyway now at this point the OK bot will start installing on this Windows computer which is this cloud computer I would give it, okay, I clicked it twice, I'll give it like a couple of minutes and when it's done installation I can actually now start um, driving traffic from this virtual server straight to my website. Now if you have as many emails as possible you can use every one of these emails to create a Google Cloud account. On that email you created a Google Cloud account, you'll be, you'll be given free $300. All you have to do is to head over to Gray, um, use the first card, create the first server, when you're done, <laughs> when you're done you delete the card, create another card. Now this could be ethically not good, I mean after the first month they would want to charge those cards back for you to continue using their service. What I would advise you to do after the first $300 um, 
<laughs> I went to after the first round of dollars. You shouldn't come back again. You should offset. Okay, the f the first round of dollars has been given to you by Google for free, right? It's not like you're it's not like you're going to be owing them. It is after that first month, the following month when your three hundred dollar expires. I would advise you don't go beyond that. You can just create a free account, but it will make sense to owe them. And then when they now start looking for a way to deduct their money back. The already deleted the card from grey so that will not be nice but this is just basically this is just to show you how to create a free RUDP I mean anything you do with this knowledge um, is completely yours your responsibility I do not in any way encourage um, using this to to rig the Google system I'm just practically trying to teach anybody that I mean you could if you have lots of emails in your course study you could use them to create different cloud account and explore the service as much as you want but make sure you read the google terms and service to make sure you're not actually violating anything <coughs> that has been listed there okay so within few minutes we should be having the ok bot installed on this server we created with our gmail and um, we can now go in and launch the app so uh, most times i get this question like oh i launched the ok bot app but it's just all white like if i double click it right now it's going to be all white so why why is it like this now it's practically because you did not run as administrator so if i right click and run as administrator you'll be able to see now the app opens so you have to always run as administrator and you know everything should be fine if you don't run as administrator you know it wouldn't um, open it's just going to be white okay so now i can put in my api key And now with my API key, I've logged into OKBot. Now what I can do is to just start driving traffic. So let me show you an instance. On one of my videos, I created a task that actually involved driving traffic to a YouTube video. So I'm going to click over here and I'll click on launch mode. On this launch mode, I'll click on the free random executor. The task was called monetize task and I created some bots named monetization. And now I'm going to create um, bots that would you know go launch that task so i'm giving two to three android one to two iphone and start now watch what's going to be happening every single one of these browsers will be popped up they will all head straight to the youtube and watch this, these videos now the only problem is google would just know that it's actually coming from google cloud because i mean this ip will see sure that it's coming in from them so you would want to get a proxy server like if i would want to do this i would have to get a proxy server um should you want to learn how to get a proxy server and you know use a proxy server with ok bots to load traffic up to your channels using this free array piece use the comment section to ask the question and i will make a video around that